Prince William is ashamed of Kate Middleton's bad behavior with George on commercial aircraft. Her Majesty took to the throne following the death of her father, King George VI, who had reigned for 16 years before his death from a blood clot. During the coronation of the Queen, one royal expert revealed how Prince Philip put the fear of God into one royal photographer. After announcing his vow to the Queen as her loyal subject to the throne, the pair were then escorted away to have their photos taken. Writing in her book, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, Annie Bullen revealed how a royal photographer, Cecil Beaton was completely intimidated by the Duke. In the book, Ms. Bullen, as Prince Philip rose to his feet he touched Queen Elizabeth's crown and kissed her tenderly on the cheek. Afterwards they posed for photographs taken by Cecil Beaton, who confessed later that the smile on Philip's lips put the fear of God into him. Beaton, who said that he had admired Philip enormously and thought he was first rate at putting people at ease and making small talk, was nevertheless somewhat nervous of his rather ragging attitude towards formal proceedings. Despite having to cope with becoming monarch, the Queen apparently took to her duties incredibly easily. After years of observing her father, Ms. Bullen said that Her Majesty carried her tasks conscientiously. Ms. Bullen added, the Queen had settled into her new role. She had seen her father carrying out his duties and she knew what she had to do. She read the contents of her boxes each day, gave audiences, signed papers, and dealt with affairs of state thoroughly and conscientiously. Although Ms. Bullen did praise the Queen for the ease at which she had taken to her duties, there have, at times been occasions where she has clashed with certain personalities. In one particular moment, the Queen had to remind one Prime Minister over her own jubilee. Writing in her book, The Queen and Di, The Untold Story, royal biographer, Ingrid Seward revealed the moment between the two figures. Referencing an earlier moment whereby the Queen used her royal prerogative so forcefully, over a trip to Ghana in 1961, Miss Seward illuminated the moment when Mr. Blair and Her Majesty clashed. She wrote, she was just as quick to put Prime Minister Tony Blair in his place when, on a visit to Balmoral in 1999, he said to his sovereign that, with only three years to go, it was time to start making plans for the Golden Jubilee. The Queen interpreted this as an attempt to hijack the arrangements. She sternly reminded him, my Golden Jubilee, Mr. Blair. Mr. Blair's blunder over the Jubilee was not the only moment when he and the Queen were put in an uncomfortable position. During a speech at the Queen's 50th wedding anniversary, Mr. Blair gave a speech he revealed what had been uttered in one of their private meetings. Those meetings are completely confidential and whatever is said within them is not supposed to be uttered. However, as revealed in the documentary, the Queen and her Prime Ministers, which focused on their relationship, it showed the moment Mr. Blair made the unfortunate slip up. In the footage of the event, the Queen can be seen to look completely shocked as Mr. Blair spoke of what had been said during their private meeting. In his speech in front of the invited guests, Mr. Blair said, Actually Your Majesty's closing words to me at Buckingham Palace on Tuesday at the end of our weekly session were, Please don't be too effusive.